Salute. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Give me <laughs> dude. Wait, I'm different, baby. Right? I got I gotta do my first one live at the uh, at the station. Yo, no, Punch really got bars. Like he got oh, heavy. I didn't know oh that. man, he got heavy hardcore bars. Yo, oh, uh, whoa, I thought you were joking. How you been, man? Man, I've been good. Just you know, trying to figure everything out while we going through this stuff. What what can you tell us? I know how it is, you know, uh, coming from the camp. <laughs> I know Isaiah Rashad. We just played something new from him this week. What's going on with him? Yeah, uh, he coming. His album is uh, it's it's there. It's just a matter of you know the artists being all the way comfortable with their work, uh -huh. and soon soon as they ready, we ready. Okay. Um, it's, it, what, what can you tell? I don't want to put you on no spot here on my side. But what can you, can you tell? Was, was Kendrick paying attention to all that talk that was happening a week and a half ago with French Montana? <laughs> <laughs> he he paid attention to everything. Uh huh. Did he, he see did he everything? Did, what did he pay attention to? People arguing the case for French, or did he, or did he find it fascinating? You know what? With him. It's always funny first. Like, he always laughing at all these dudes. Mm -hmm. It's like it's, and then after that, it's like a level of, of competition. Like you have to be in a certain weight class to get some sort of response or whatever you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it's all funny. It's all fun and games to us. Mm -hmm. um, how? how what, what? Um, I know he had, he's been working on music. Mm -hmm. um, what what is his process like? Why why so much time for him? I know it's, it, it doesn't feel right yet, or or is that's really that's that's really all it is is to is when the artist is comfortable like with with their body of work. That's it. Like we don't really put no pressure on them to come out or none of that. It's like when you done, when you ready, then you know we'll roll it out. It's nothing more than that. Absol, Schoolboy Q, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what's going on with the from Absol? Actually, we dropped a song on him last week, too, because, you know, we did the uh, TDE Fan Appreciation Week. Uh-huh. So we dropped a song every day from, you know, the, the uh, individual artists. We got on the label. So. Uh, uh, the, how do you say that, though? Danger, Danger, <laughs> Kapow? How do you say it? <laughs> <laughs> Dangaroo Kippawa. <laughs> it's funny. It's, uh, it's actually uh, that's Top's uh, username. Uh huh. Dangaru Kippawa. Yeah. What? It's funny. It comes. It comes okay. from the. Uh, he probably gonna get mad at me telling you, but it comes from the uh, Three Stooges episode. It was a, it was a sign sitting outside of this cave that said uh, "Danger, keep away." Uh huh. And one of the dudes looked at it and said, Dangaroo Kippawa. So oh. it kind of like, he always laugh at that. It's like an inside joke, and he used it as his, as his handle. That's funny. Um, TDE um, now, to me, is probably one of the most coveted, is the most coveted label in the game, in my opinion. The way you guys move is, always has that mystique in, the, in your patience um, and before you release music to the public. Longevity. Yeah. The longevity. Um, mm -hmm. How do y'all see it from the inside? I mean, is it still a grind or, you know, is this what the plan always been? As far as, what you mean as far as we're playing? It's putting in out quality? Of, yeah, the quality. And the, yeah, the, that's that's the that's our whole focus is to make sure it's right before it goes out. Uh -huh. Like, we're not, we not on nobody else's timetable. We're not pressured or none of that. When it's right, and the fans are respected more, even though they want it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's um, always been our philosophy. Oh, yeah, I saw you were really intimidating. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> wow. Because he'll mention you, and he's like, yeah, he's so nice. And then when we met, I was like, yo, <laughs> this man's intimidating. I was, ah, we were, it was, it, I was, it like, was work man. mode. It was at that festival, right? Yeah, it was intimidating. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm a nice guy. I promise. Yeah. How's Scissor doing? How's how's how is she? She doing good. She like she real concerned about what's going on with everybody right now. So she's trying to figure out ways to to help. Mm -hmm. 
So she planning some stuff right now to uh, you know, help some of the kids or whatever that's going through it. But she good though. Other than that, um, she in full swing on her album. We almost there with that one too. Didn't T D recently pay for? Didn't you got you guys pay for a month's worth of Nick Kristen Gardens? Are yeah, you know? uh, that was that was top. Personally, he paid for uh, he paid the rent for the month for all the uh, senior citizens in each of the projects in Watts. Yo. It's Yo, so cool. uh, Punch, man, I love you, bro. Thank you for chiming in on Bedroom Bars. Uh, man, likewise. I want to uh, make sure that, you know, we can do everything in our power to support TDE and all the artists that come out. Um, yes, sir. With everybody doing their rounds, man, I, I love to have them with us at uh, Sirius XM and Pandora. No, absolutely. You know, you always supported us from jump, like from the beginning, so. It's all love. We we'll schedule it and make sure everybody get around there. Okay. I'll still say stay <laughs> huh? before work. Yeah. Like take care right. of yourself. Like, we'll do. <laughs> hey, punch, man. Twenty twenty, you gotta come up to the show and spit these bars, bro. Ooh. Come on, man. Up. We ready? <laughs> come on. I still hey, got my... the. I got the songs. Hey, the album done too. I'm gonna send it to you. Send it to me. Let me hear it. Okay. I got you. Appreciate you, uh -huh. man. Appreciate you, Punch. There it is. <laughs>